The News at Noon is brought to you by Owensboro Health. Get care from Owensboro Health's pulmonology and sleep medicine team locations in Owensboro and Madisonville. Visit owensborohealth.org today. Your tri-state weather today, breezy with showers and scattered storms becoming likely through the afternoon with a high of 74. Winds gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour this afternoon. Temperatures will slowly fall through this evening. Cloudy with scattered rain early tonight, then clearing skies and colder with a low of 43. And for your Friday, sunny to mostly sunny and cooler with a high of 65. It's Halloween, and officials with the Indiana State Police want to share some safety tips to make sure everyone gets home safely. Make sure you have a flashlight, a glow stick, or reflective material on the costume so you can be seen at all times. Always trick-or-treat with an adult or use the buddy system when approaching a house. Only go trick-or-treating at houses where the front porch light is on. Never enter the house of a stranger and have an adult inspect the candy before it's eaten. Early and no-excuse absentee voting begins today for Kentucky voters. In Henderson County, that's at Chase Fulcher Archery Center from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. today and tomorrow and 8 to 4 on Saturday. In Davis County, that's at the Owensboro Sports Center today until 4 p.m. The recall of a popular brand of baby powder due to a potential health risk. ABC's Dave Packer with what parents need to know. The recall of Dynacare baby powder has now been expanded from 12 to 35 states. The maker Dynarex citing potential asbestos contamination. The products sold in stores and online through Amazon and include 4-ounce and 14-ounce sizes purchased on or after January 8th of this year. Customers advised to immediately stop using the recalled products and return them for a full refund. So far, no illnesses or adverse effects have been reported. The company investigating the source of the contamination. The Vandenberg County Coroner has released the name of the teen killed at Tepe Park on Tuesday night. He was 17-year-old Malachi Young, who was a student at the Academy of Innovative Studies. Young had been shot several times. EPD has arrested 16-year-old Santana Cooper and 17-year-old Lakay Snaden. They've both been charged with murder. Malachi leaves behind a one-week-old son. An official with the Evansville Fire Department says the middle units of Ingle Terrace apartment building are a total loss. The fire was reported at 3.40 Wednesday morning. A resident alerted occupants by banging on doors. The first arriving engine reported flames and smoke visible from the back of the structure. One person jumped from a second floor before EFD's arrival and sustained an injury to a lower extremity. Three people were transported to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The Red Cross is assisting, as is animal control. There's been an arrest in connection with an Elizabethtown fire yesterday that left two men dead. It happened about 5 a.m. Wednesday. Firefighters arrived at the fully involved house and found 41-year-old Blake France and 43-year-old Anthony Garrett dead. Both men had been shot. Witnesses said a gold pickup truck was at the scene. It was quickly located. Its driver, 45-year-old Dustin Caudill, admitted to shooting the two men and setting the fire, he faces a list of charges including murder and arson. The L.A. Dodgers have won their eighth World Series championship, beating the Yankees in New York last night 7-6. to ABC's Jim Ryan tells us about a historic late-game comeback and the reaction in the victors' hometown. The Dodgers were down 5 nothing in the 5th and trailed by a run in the 8th before a sacrifice fly from Mookie Betts capped one of the biggest comebacks in World Series history. Word of the Dodgers' 7-6 victory spread through Los Angeles. <laughs> but celebration turned to violence and looting as ABC's Chris Christie watched from a helicopter. There have been a number of getaway vehicles waiting for the merchandise to walk out. They stuffed the trunks. They get in the car and they drive away. We've seen no word on arrests or injuries. Owensboro police arrest a man on Thursday on drug charges. The arrest was the latest in an ongoing investigation that, so far, has resulted in 37 arrests this year. William Stewart was taken into custody Wednesday morning on federal drug charges and a federal indictment. So far in the case, 280 pounds of meth, 26 pounds of cocaine, lots of fentanyl pills, along with guns and cash, have been seized. 
Evansville police find hundreds of doses of liquefied narcotics in baby bottles during a Tuesday afternoon traffic stop. It happened on Highway 41 near the I-64 interchange. A sheriff's deputy says a car driven by Raul Lopez sped past him and was subsequently stopped. The car reportedly smelled of marijuana. A passenger, Carlos Dominguez, reached under his seat where the deputy later found a gun. Lopez has meth-dealing warrants out for him in Texas. A new potential path to freedom for the Menendez brothers, ABC's Andrew Dimebert with details. Days after announcing that he's asking a court to resentence the brothers, Los Angeles DA George Gascon is requesting clemency from Governor Gavin Newsom. The brothers have served 34 years in prison for the shotgun murders of their parents in their Beverly Hills home in 1989. Advocates argue new evidence of the alleged abuse the brothers suffered at the hands of their father justifies a review of the case. By law, the governor is not allowed to decide on clemency for 10 days. United Caring Services of Evansville is in need of some help with Thanksgiving. They're in need of 21 turkeys, fresh or frozen, weighing about 20 pounds each. The turkeys will help with preparing a Thanksgiving meal for their unhoused guests. They need the birds by November 13th. They can be dropped off at United Caring Services at 324 Northwest 6th Street from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. You're listening to the News at Noon on 104 FM WIKY.